Hi, my name is Stu Roberts and welcome back to HeyFunkyDrummer.com. Uh, in today's lesson, we're going to have a little look at uh, playing a soca beat. Uh, this is quite a simple pattern, but uh, it can be really fun to play and very enjoyable. So the main characteristics of soca um, are that the music is basically uh, a mixture of four on the floor disco uh, with calypso rhythms. So how we compile the beat um, shows us both of those styles being molded together. So we have four beats to the bar on the bass drum, uh, which some guys might call playing four to the floor. Okay, then we have some upbeats with the open hi-hat, exactly as if you were playing a disco rhythm. So, boom -tss, boom -tss, boom -tss, boom -tss. Okay, and in the left hand, we're gonna play uh, just, a, if you imagine a clave rhythm, just the three portion, or a three-two clave, so just the three portion repeated. Sometimes people refer to that as Cuban triplets. So that rhythm on the snare drum in the left hand would be Yeah, I like that. Okay, so let's build this up piece by piece. So we've got the bass drum, four beats to the bar. Easy enough. Then we've got the hi-hats on the off beats and we're gonna open the hi-hats on the upbeat so we get that tss, tss kind of sound. Yeah, it's probably one of my favorite sounds on the drums. So when we put the bass drum and hi-hat together, this is what we get. Okay, so the extra element here is really what's giving us the calypso rather than disco flavor in our soca beat. And the left hand is playing this rhythm. Okay, let's put it all together and see how it sounds. Now let's uh, move the tempo up a little bit. All right, so one variation that you might want to try is rather than just playing uh, straight eighth notes in your right hand, to actually play two sixteenth notes to an offbeat eighth note. So one E and, two E and, three E and, four E and. And when we combine that with the open hi-hat sound, that will give you this pattern. Got that? Okay. Now let's put everything together, but with the alternate hi-hat pattern. Yeah, sounds cool to me. All right, so let's look at the left hand for a moment. Some of you will have noticed that I'm not just playing the rhythm so it's completely flat dynamically, but I'm kind of shaping it. So the first note on beat one is a little bit quieter, and then it kind of peaks in the middle, and out of the three notes, the one that falls in the middle is probably the, the loudest. So we get...
Okay, so just pay attention to that dynamic because it kind of gives the, the beat the kind of the lift and calypso flavor. And there are also a couple of left hand variations that I'm sure you'll find naturally as you get into playing the beat, where you might find yourself playing rhythms like Okay, so that gives us a, a whole range of soca rhythms that you can access to. And uh, just one important thing about this is just don't be a, just a beat collector. But take this as your kind of your starter pack for getting a, a kind of foot on the ladder of uh, being familiar with the soca style. But then go and learn some tunes. Remember that music is made up not just of rhythm, but also melody and harmony. So it's very important that uh, you learn some repertoire, some tunes and the style. Uh, no matter what style of music you're checking out, try to remember to also pay attention to what's happening in the rest of the band. What would a bass player be playing that would define it as a soca bass line, as opposed to, for example, a reggae one drop, as opposed to, say, a songo. You know, so it's always about checking out what the other instruments are doing in the band as well and not just kind of collecting beats from drum books or from checking out videos. Uh, so that's a soca beat that you've got some, some things together with. And just one final addition to that is maybe sometimes you might want to go to the ride cymbal bell and play this, that same hi-hat pattern, da da ding da da ding or even just the straight one and two and ding ding on the bell and that will just give a, a kind of brighter feeling to the whole thing. So just to demonstrate that for you, I'll go from playing the beat on a hi-hat to playing it on the ride cymbal and that will wrap up a little, uh, very short lesson on soca drumming. So I hope you've enjoyed it and thanks very much for watching.